Repeat this mantra to yourself. Being is special. Being is special. Keep focusing on your breath while thinking about how those who disrupt relationships, laugh at kings. Doctors want your soul. Take in how you're stored up she and your body are one with the universe. Your muscles are now energized by the infinite. Remember to say to yourself, I am very, very not being brainwashed. Keep on breathing. There's no I in crab. Meditate on this age-old saying, those who connect to eternity, connect to molecules. Keep on breathing and remember how in certain cultures, a vegetarian is seen as on top of the pyramid. To achieve the right state, Contemplate these words of wisdom, lucky is he that thinketh about his wife, for he also thinketh about himself. Stay focused on your breath. Meditate on these words of wisdom. Let he who has a camel worship the last mistakes. No consent, no gonorrhea for you. Inhale. And exhale. Isn't it energizing to try to focus on how you are dissolving your skin? No marriage, no implementation. You're a stupid joke. Keep your eyes shut. Whenever you need spiritual guidance, you must first open up. Inhale. And exhale. A brave emperor once approached an ugly, old lady and asked her how can it be that you are so great, you who are just an ugly, old lady? The reason for is that I am certain that I do as good as I can, even though I'm just a lady replied the lady. The emperor had never before heard such truth spoken, and took it to his heart and took it with him for the rest of his life, and a couple of years later, he died none the wiser. Say to yourself, 
being has a higher purpose. All men must become parents. Why not? Aim to open your large intestine. All adult men must play with you, yourself included. Keep focusing on it. Oh, okay, I was late on the ads because I'm a professional. There are a lot of things in the queue, and we're going to look at them in a minute after oh, after that stops being dumb, but also after I do a little bit of multiplayer verse. How you guys doing tonight? And gals? And others? Could be others. I don't know. I'm going to make the rules. Uh, What the fuck am I doing here? Oh, yeah, I got to get my queue back up. Do, 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 do. Starlight, you made a good level, right? That's what you put in there? Why two cams? Why not two cams? I have two cameras. Should I not have two cameras? Are you doing it, Box? Are you focusing on breathing with your belly button? I'm trying. It's a hole, kinda. It goes in. It goes into your insides. I have two cameras. I went back and I was looking at some old clips, uh, and I was like, man, two cameras was kind of cool. Uh, and I was like, huh, I'm going to go put the other one on there. I don't know which one to focus on. Well, wait, we can give you more. Here's more. Focus on all the cameras. Is this distracting? Yeah, I was born that way. Need more cameras? Need more? I'm gonna put a camera in every corner. Fuck it! Four! I do have, uh, I have one decent Logitech, uh, from my old job, and then I have a terrible Logitech somewhere, so I could have, I could have, like, the full spread of bad cameras. Oh, it was so good last week, so I was hoping that that would just be the streak from now on. Hiya, bro. Yeah, see, so you're gonna hit stuff. Well, that was a good save. But a bad choice. Oh, did Mario die and then give up? Do, 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 do. Someone's playing your latest troll. You'll be back in 35 minutes. Good luck. Enjoy. I imagine that's even more fun than watching somebody uh, play a troll level you already played. More potential for disappointment, though. Suck it, Toadette. Pink is the worst Mario color. Got him. Don't rush. That was nice. That was nice of Toadette to not rush me. Whew. Yeah, I got the teeth. That one. You probably see them better than that one. I got the teeth. You know, they've got that nice coffee stain color on them. I like those levels a lot for multiplayer verse. It was a little laggy, but it was still tolerable. It got more tolerable when Mario left. Yeah, I like the two cameras. I used to have it set up like that all the time. Uh, I removed it when I reworked the cameras and everything. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? No, two cameras is kind of cool. Also, what do you mean you don't know which one to focus on? Focus on the gameplay. The cameras are peripheral information. 
Speaking of which, Nick, let's uh let's touch your let's touch your stuff. DM 5TR RFG. Here we go. <laughs> Sports. Yeah, I like it. I like the two cameras. And then, you know, give it a couple of weeks and then oh yeah, world, yeah, thanks. I will have to type the code again because I'm really smart. Um yeah, we were working through the super world. We moved past the angry part, I think. I think we did. G. Esports. Esports. God damn. Um. Yeah, give it a couple of weeks, and then I'll be like, ah, oh, the two cameras are stupid. I don't like it. And then I'll remove it. And then I'll go back and forth forever. Unless the stream accidentally explodes, and I'll just stick to whatever was working forever. Until people are like, play Minecraft! Carl's playing Minecraft, I saw somebody else was doing Minecraft, Tanuki Dan was doing Minecraft. One more world, five levels, and it's all new levels. Oh yeah, uh... I had thoughts on this the first time through, but I don't remember what they were. Pick. Uh, Trooper Shell was just going to hurt me anyway. I was playing uh, Super Mario World all week, so it's possible that I will get dumb as soon as we see some of that, but so far it's been not Super Mario World, so hopefully my brain will just adjust. I type on a pretty crazy keyboard at home, uh, and at work, but uh, pretty often you have to type on, you know, other people's stupid laptop keyboards and stuff. And after a while, you get used to it. You can just go back and forth. Well, I imagine if you play enough Super Mario World and enough Mario Maker, but that's what happens. But uh, yeah, I was playing through all the rest of the uh, questionable level design contest levels. There's some real gems in there. But we started at the right place when we started. Uh, with uh, Mario Has Hands. That was amazing. Uh, so I just remembered. Uh, yep. Yeah, I know. I know what I did. I know what happened. Paid the price. Do not get to hover multiple times on Yoshi. Wrong game. It's kind of crazy how many people are playing, started playing through Minecraft solo, but I, and I didn't watch any of it. But I'm assuming they're playing Minecraft to actually finish it, not playing Minecraft to dick around, which is good. Oops. The number of people who have followed the arrows? I'll follow the arrows. Yeah, I, I completely ignored the arrows. I did not see the arrows until I was dying in the pit, and you said it. I see them. Oh yeah, you can't see the next set either. It's, it's pretty clear what you're supposed to do. You could separate that pretty easily, but yeah, then there might be a lot of, uh... Well, if you did it with something damaging, uh, or bouncy, that could end up being pretty annoying for the player. You could maybe separate it just with blocks. Then the player could land on the block. Bikes? Bikes on the bottom, blocks on top? Maybe? Then the player can't land? Well, no, you can land on spikes with Yoshi. Yeah, bouncers would just be really annoying. Bouncers would work, but they'd be really annoying. Yeah, the number of people who have played Minecraft for billions of hours and have no idea... Bye, Yoshi. You can beat it? You can finish it? That there's an end? 
that there's an ending, that there's credits, that there's a little bit of really weird lore at the end. That there's a final boss. Uh, it's crazy. Oops. Boss could maybe work. It might still end up being tight and very damaging. Because we need a lot of Yoshi's jump height here. Yeah, I mean, it's already, it's already a little tight. Whether there's a checkpoint right before it? Depending on how many times I have to retry it, I might be annoyed on the way back up. Yoshi, one more little inch. All you needed. There we go. That took more tries than I feel like it should have. Ah, okay. Let's do this. Did the Yoshi come out of the pipe? Oh, wait. It probably won't give me another one because I... I probably shouldn't have done that. Yoshi did not come out of the pipe, did he? That's just a pipe. I grab an extra Yoshi, and now I'm paying the price. Oh, wait. I can't go in the pipe. <laughs> Which refreshes the Yoshi? Okay. If I'd gone in there with the first Yoshi, then I could have grabbed the extra egg. Do, do, do. Alright. Oh. Trying to time it out with the flutter is, is wrong. Is in unhelpful. Oh god, okay. Awkward. Very awkward. A little fast. I'm trying to make Yoshi work for me and he just don't wanna. Yeah, that last row ends up being a little tight, but if they were any lower, we'd be bumping our, uh... They'd be bumping into the lava a little bit. Here we don't have the problem with the tightness because we do have the hard ceiling. There we go. One job, Yoshi. Esports. Oops. Not high enough. Now we're going to grab an extra egg. I don't need it. I don't need it. I just want it. There we go. Egg. Well, that was dumb. I can't think of a name for my new Mario Maker 2 level. 
nonsense. Honestly, just boot up and Spirebot Mindfulness Mode and wait for it to give you a suggestion that you can make fit in there. It's just doing that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the way. There we go. Yeah, just fill it with nonsense. Fill it with someone else's nonsense. Otherwise, ask ChatGPT, too. If you want something more concise, like, I have a level with springs and pow blocks and some light kaizo. What should I call it? And then be like, no, make a better name. No, make a better name. No, funnier. No, put a pun in it. I want to have chocolate ice cream in the in the name, but it can only be 75 characters. You can just get straight up abusive with chat DPT. We will save that Yoshi for when we lose this Yoshi. I'm assuming from the setup... Oh, okay. Was all that me waiting for him? A little annoying. Wait, can I eat big potabos? No. I had a big Yoshi. Yeah, it's easy for him to get in a position where he's just kind of hanging out on the edge. Or where he lives in his hole. And I'm just going to wait. Because chain chomps are janky. Yeah, I couldn't hit him up there anyway. Oh, calm down. Is that Iggy? I think that's Iggy. I don't know. Whichever Koopaling that is. He doesn't get much going when he is, uh... Has the heat turned up after a couple of hits. First Yoshi failed me. Do, 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 do. Cool stuff? Cool stuff. Boss fight wasn't as annoying as it looked. Uh, and we have decent ability to take a couple extra hits. There are some points that I feel I could use a little bit of polish. But that's a very solid level overall. Moved, we've moved pretty far away from pissing me off, so we'll we'll see where we go from there. That took me a while though, so we'll just we'll just do the one. So I name my Mario Maker level, which is Precision Underwater Spike Path, that lasts exactly a 490 seconds. What's the CBT room? CBD room? Because you're gonna need a lot of CBD to chill the fuck out. It's now new levels from now on. That's good. That'll be good when we get there. Boom. Starlight. What misery do you have? YF4. J50. YHG. See, this is why we can't do predictions. It's because then Starlight will get all the points. Wait, can I do predictions on whether or not a level, like Starlight's level is bad, right? And then ban starlight from the predictions i wonder if you can do that like obviously that person will know yeah we'll do little bits of a super world uh that super world we started on and i got so angry uh and i was like no fuck off you have to fix this level i, I hate this level so much i'm just done um and uh kobold jump scare i see the face uh, and then, uh, fix the guy, I assume the guy, Nick fixed it, and then, uh, rebuilt the super world to be like, continue from where you were. <laughs> Platforming castle, feeling familiar. Is Kabold another streamer who suffers? Who suffers Starlight's nonsense? Uh, Dolphin, that's one thought. It could be not bad. But it could also be that it, uh... Because does the clear rate go down if you start over? It could softlock you. 
like he likes to do. Bad things. This is actually fine so far. It's good so far. But that's also the problem, is because you, you get your hopes up, and then it's then it's just a death pipe or some nonsense. Is that a Jesus cross? Made out of coins! It looks faintly like a title screen level, though. And I mean suffer. Well, tell him not to suffer. You don't have to suffer. What well, Starlight didn't have to put all those sound effects on them. On these, on these guys. Oh no, maybe not a title screen level. At least if it was structured after one, it, it moved away from that pretty quick. This is cool. Reminds me of that Super Mario World castle that is just... Esports that. That whole section that's just that. You know the one. Wendy's castle, maybe? Is that Wendy's castle with all the skewers? This is a little annoying. There we go. Demon Link, how you doing tonight? Done, I'll upload the whole thing. Yeah, there was some... There were some problems. There we go. A little awkward. Link, thanks for dropping something in there. We'll get to it in a little bit here. Yeah, very strong Mario 3 and Super Mario World vibes. Little checkpoint room with a power up and little staircase. Staircase is uneven, but it's fine. This is a very, very simple but very effective arena. I like this. Yeah, that works really well. You put could have maybe put a fireball in the center as well, a potabo to uh give the player uh something to keep their feet moving so they don't just lurk in the center. Uh, but by no means does it hurt it to not have it at all. That was legitimately a good level. See, now if we had done a prediction for like, is this another bad Starlight level? Uh, somebody would be getting a lot of points right now. It would probably be Starlight, is who it would be. Uh, he died. That man fucking died. See, do more like that. You can do so much like that. Mario Maker needs more like that. And so many people, so many people are like, well, I don't want to make like a, a, you know, a 7 out of 10 level. Mario Maker needs to be flooded with 7 out of 10 levels. If everybody was making decent ass levels, it would just absolutely squish out a ton of garbage in Endless in uh multiplayer versus and it would be it would be so much more fun our lives would be so much more improved mario bros ds world six castle see that works too i haven't played mario bros uh new soup ds in a thousand years and it didn't feel familiar at all yeah imagine imagine if it was if it was just mario levels people tried to make mario levels Magic Dolphin, let's see what you're up to here. 1H6, FT8. 8. 5RF. Facebook friends will bury you. <laughs> Did AI do that? Sunshine is unhygienic, understandably. And then, see, dumb people, if dumb people see that, they'll be like, oh, Oh, I don't know what that means. I better pretend that's that's really, like, pithy and clever so that they don't look stupid. And then, boom, there you go. Problem solved. Got your yearly good level out of the way. Now I can make horrible ones until next year. Oh. Oh. Long enough to be the villain. Baby, don't hurt me. No more. What's going on under there? <laughs> Faster? <laughs> I also hate that song. That's the song I hate the most. Well, problem solved. I will play it on the kazoo when you disappoint me. 
Skip some. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Well, I didn't want to fall. I thought I had more time. Oh, that's to get the lineup. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Okay. Where am I going with this? What the fuck? Oh, I like that. That was good. That's cute. Yeah, getting the lineup on beat blocks like that is clever. I haven't seen that before. Ah, uh, and then we j it all kind of clicked over from there. Me SMM too. Me thanks for the follow button. Started following. Thank you. I'm just gonna uh, wait this one out. Oh, I waited it out in the. Uh, But this time, not in the hole. There we go. Deep block things. Sometimes it's hard to process exactly what's going to happen with the beat blocks uh, when they flip, when there's a lot of them. Hi, I'm Graham Pooh Bear. Oh, hey, Please thanks a lot for the sub, Nick. Com. Really appreciate Despite that. Sounding like a very inappropriate website is actually a Twitch streamer. He's better than me at Mario Maker and Mario World. Uh, Nick underscore said all that. He thinks I'm better five. than him. Thanks. That was a, that was real. Uh, thanks a lot for the sub. Really appreciate it. That's a good use of the prime. Bezos doesn't need it. I need it. I don't really need it, but I need it more than him. Two cameras don't pay, pay for themselves. Oops. Do 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 Um This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Yeah, I really appreciate that. It's better than letting the Prime sit there, too, especially if you don't have anybody else you're watching. Or even if you do, you know. Maybe they have enough subs. I only have six. You know how long that takes to get a $50 payout? And here's the great thing. 100% of all proceeds go to buying me things I want for myself. All of it. None of it goes to any charities or tithing. Jesus gets zero percent of my money. There we go. And we got a little hung up there a couple of times, but when you're looking at it and you're paying attention, that was wrong. Oh, good, I'm fine. <laughs> Wait, what do I actually want here? Oh, I'm go I want to go up there. Okay. No, I don't want to go up there. Uh, what am I doing? Huh. I'm not sure where to go there. Meant to be the last level of World 1. Thwomp dying is bad. Oh, okay. I want the Thwomp to survive. The nonsense. I would actually kind of think... I think it would be cool. Like, a bigger option wouldn't make me mad. But a beat block that was off beat. It could be bigger. A bigger beat block that operated like outside of the rhythm on the half steps or whatever would be would be fun. Oh god. Or a beat block that always changes like one step before actually could be a lot of fun. You could do some really fun stuff with that too. That was weird. Did that to myself. Did you touch anyone with your balls today yet? Nope. Nope. Get my balls to myself. I guess they touched the inside of my hot tub. But the hot tub likes that. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. So I was either going too fast or too slow. I was going to something. GG. And there's the end of it. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Uh, how we managed to keep killing him there. I mean, you saw it. You know. Sports. Maybe he needs a parachute. Uh, maybe he doesn't need a parachute. Maybe there just needs to be framing for him on the way over there. Or a hard block for him to bump into. Um, Instead of beat blocks. Just so there's something to stop him. Or a spike. A spike in the beat blocks, actually. Uh, could work uh, really well. And like in between the, the... You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, but I'm going to draw it anyway. Because I forgot to check if drawing was in the right place. Mostly. Hey, I drew a little leaf. By accident. Um, You got your beat block. And then a spike. And then another beat block. That could stop him without being a platform for the player to rest on. Yeah, that was great, though. That was really fun. Uh, a lot of really satisfying little bits in there. That's great. It's going to be a cool super world. That I'm going to have already played all of. Uh, Nick? Nick up next? No, Mr. Oofity's next. I pushed the button already. Woo! Zero... Peanut butter and butts. Because I'm 9, 11 gram. Except spikes are not one block. Oh, yeah, it's fucking... It's fucking 3D world. You have those fucking giant spikes that are dumb. Never mind. More pizza tower. You know, I should get back to that. I was just looking for something today. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I was just looking for something today because I just finished all the freaking uh, 3D World stuff. Oh, I bought the Messenger too. I need to play back through the Messenger. Uh, selected. Do, 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 do. I wanted it highlighted in my Steam library. Hello? 09? Why do you keep saying 09? Is that a threat? Are you threatening me with numbers? Pizza Tower. I gotta get back to it, though. Yeah, I have no idea why they... Like, I'm not mad that there are 2x2 two two spikes. 2x2 two two spikes are fun. Also, give us 1x1 one one spikes. Give us both. Give us permanent spikes that aren't on-off driven. Give us all the things in all the styles. That's one of the things, too. I don't want to be, you know, guy who starts touching Lunar Magic and talks about it constantly, but just, just playing with Lunar Magic for a couple hours, it's just like, man, any goddamn thing I can think of, any goddamn thing I want to do in Mario, I can make happen, and probably somebody already made it possible. Otherwise, I can get somebody to make it possible. We learn to make it possible. Mario Maker just has so much artificial limitation. This was not where I needed to go. I followed the track. I don't even think it's just laziness. I think it's like almost madness. Like on some level they were like, well, we don't want people to have too many options. So let's limit their options so that it seems simpler and is more approachable for children. Like bitch, the people who are playing this are adults. There are some children, but it's okay if there are too many options for children. Give us some ridiculously... Moyoko, thanks for dropping something in there. Mr. 09 never explained his nines. Um, Give us some incredibly esoteric method to unlock additional things. Like, okay, once you've reached 200 hours, and your Nintendo Network ID is a verified adult account, and, uh, I don't know, you sent us a picture of your dad's dick, we'll give you access to all the editor items. Boom. Do, do, do. He's gonna bite me. Here, eat that guy. Eat that guy. How much would someone have to pay you to go see the stream? Oh, I wouldn't. I couldn't. Uh, if I violate Twitch terms of service, I get in fucking trouble. 
do 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 You can watch Goatsy on your own computer for free. You can just go look. Just go Google it. Especially if you're under 18 and illegally watching the stream. I encourage you to, to especially do that. Let's get a signed permission slip first. Be a family activity for all of you guys. Oh god, I'm dumb. I'm supposed to take it. God damn it. Get out of here. I see what I'm doing wrong. I can do this, can't I? Yes, I can. I'm dumb. Do -do 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 yeah, it's adults. Adults like this game. Do -do 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 well, that's how we get rid of the fucking guy. Yeah, Nintendo just hates it. Oops, I'm dumb. Their target audience has never really been, like, specifically children, but they always want to make sure that stuff is child-friendly, and I think that informs a lot of it. And man, it felt like around with the Wii, and especially the Wii U, their design direction in general for UI got really stupid. Like, they just wanted it to be terrible. I will enjoy the pet dog, it's mine now. Man, man. I'm making it harder for myself. Do. Keep it. Keep it. Oh, can't keep him. Do, 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 do. Yep. Yeah. Aren't there more? Yeah, there it is. Okay, no dog. Only stick. Shit. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think Samus would work really well. Kirby would work exceptionally well. It wouldn't be my first choice. But I feel like Kirby would just drop in so easily and so effectively. Oh, dog. Dog gone. Dog gone. Well, I had to. He was he was just standing there. Nintendo and Sony have a pretty good relationship, and Sonic could work pretty well. As long as the camera kept up. But I think it does. I, I think even when you get super speeded, it does. So it will probably also be... Almost entirely a drop-in thing. I think Kirby would offer a lot of really interesting stuff, too. Is giving the player actual total flight that wasn't as annoying as the P-Balloon, I think it'd be really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing they wanted to do a SMB style and COVID got in the way and just made a big mess of it, which is also really depressing because a full SMB style could have been so cool. And it's probably just sitting on the shelf somewhere. 80% done. Ruined. Was it 2019? I think we got one in 2020, didn't we? Uh, Mario Maker 2 Final Up... Not Final. Final update news thing uh, with the Super World Koopalings. SMB2 Mushroom. Where's the date? Where's a fucking date? Why does this not have a date on it, Nintendo? It's from Nintendo.com and they didn't put a date on it. Oh, April 20th, 2020. Yeah. Oh, calm down. Calm down, buddy. We're going. I think they even talked about it that, uh... That their uh, plans got interrupted by COVID, but yeah, I mean, either way, you probably shouldn't be saying stupid shit like, 
this is the final update ever. Like, don't do that to me. Don't tell me it's the final update. Just don't have it be the final update. Plan to maybe come back to it. Oh, good. I have made a very dumb mess here, it looks like. There, the mess took care of itself. Yeah, their their dev staff switched entirely to work from home. It really got they act. I know for a fact they talked about it with Smash Bros. That it it really gummed up the works with playing Smash content, but they pushed it back. Uh, but I swear to God, they said they had to cut short some of the stuff with Mario Maker, but maybe not. Do you finish your Super World? I will move to Lunar Magic. It's fun to play with. Uh, I found a really really cool ROM hack base. That gives you access to a ton of shit. Way more shit than you need right out the gate. But especially if you've played a lot of ROM hacks, it's really nice to just have a bunch of that shit ready to go. I'm gonna start real vanilla with it, but I just like that the base already exists and it's already there and it's easy to manage that way. Uh, the other thing that's nice about the, um... The, uh, Flux Base ROM... You just message me when you get there, Dolphin. I can send you now if you want to. Uh, but one of the really nice things, a lot of things that are in Mario Maker and aren't in Super Mario World that you're like, what the fuck? Why the hell don't I have one ways are already built into it, which is really nice. Do, 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 do. Hey, I have it under good authority, but some people are working on a UI. So the longer I wait, the easier it's going to be to learn. Buddy. Right. Did, uh, did, did, um, Pizza Tower do something like this where you have, like, a accompaniment thing? Or did, oops. Um. Yeah, I ran. I ran out of, out of the seconds. Uh, or did that just end up working pretty close to having it? Because I would laugh really hard. There's so much Mario in Pizza Tower that it's gonna be really funny when I get back to it to be like, wait, wait, I've seen this. There we go. I was just playing with Lunar Magic a little bit. Calm down. I actually, I got it set back up because I wanted to play with it. It was really nice to have while I was playing through the rest of the questionable level design contest, uh, ROM hacks. Because I wanted to look at the insane shit that they were doing in there. Well, and that's what I'm wondering is that, like, with the strong Mario influence... I feel like there has to be some Mario Maker influence, just because there's already... Ow! Like, for some reason, Mario Maker is weirdly popular with uh, game devs anyhow. Like, uh, Lethal Ejection was made by the people who made... Uh, what was it? Some Some other game. I don't remember what game. Uh, that weird horror game. I can't remember the name of it. Doo -doo. Uh, Maddie from Celeste fame. She made a whole bunch of really cool levels. Wow, that actually gives you a lot of momentum. Uh, there, there's been a bunch of other ones too. There's a ton, ton, ton of like... Uh, somebody made a thread about it on Reddit a long time ago of just... An enormous number of uh, well-known devs have made a bunch of Mario Maker levels. So I feel like it's not crazy at all. Oh, I guess we are going down. Uh, to assume that maybe Mario Maker also might have some influence. Yeah, Maddie is a very talented lady. Maddie has also made some unbelievably excellent uh, Super Mario World ROM hacks that are an excellent accidental introduction to Kaizo. But I honestly think that is Maddie's, like, absolute, like, secret skill. Hey, we actually got the key. Doki Doki Literature Club, yes. Lethal Ejection was made by the person who made Doki Doki Literature Club. That is fucking bonkers! How are they that mean inside? And how are they that mean inside and then they uploaded it? That was great. 
that was great. Uh, and this works really well, especially since I'm, I'm going to get back to Pizza Tower eventually, but the, the levels stand really well on their own without knowing anything about Pizza Tower. The only thing that sticks out is unusual is the uh, strings all over, the tracks, which I followed um, and did not need to follow. But it really didn't hurt me. I couldn't get so far off the reservation that it actually did any damage or made anything worse. Um, and they, they stand really well on their own, which esports is the most important thing with like an homage level like that. It'll be really easy when I really interesting when I do get back to Pizza Tower. You'd be like, oh, I remember what he did in Mario Maker for this. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. All right, next. Is Nick. Super World Party Time. DCM 5TR. RFG. Finally starting to cool off outside, so my air conditioner's oh, working better, but leaking. Hang on. There are wires right by it. Hang on. I'll be right back. I'm going to stuff a bunch of paper towel under it and deal with it later. Professional adulting. It's not draining. Let's just go off right now then. I prefer it not short out everything. Oh. Oh, do you have a pet rat? Okay. It'll be interesting to see that on the other side, because I played, like, the first world in some of Pizza Tower, and then I got pulled away by a lot of other things. But then I get pulled back. I've been playing through the Mega Man Battle Network collection, but I can't just play RPGs all the time off stream, or I go crazy. World 6 time. These are new, I was told. Frozen Falling Shell Cave. So then I also wonder... Uh... Were these also reworked? Or are these gonna be less bad? Or are we back to the bad? Hello? There's a lady behind me. That's what those hands are. Why do you smell like that? What not, is that? not called incest. Incense. What's not called incest? Incense. Burner. She's talking about incest behind me. It's a weird fetish. Um. I think that my sister that you don't like has. Probably. Or she seems like she does because she's a little dead inside from all the drug use. Are you having fun? She's, she's having fun. These are unchanged since you haven't seen it yet. Well, it's not making me that angry yet. But, you know, there's still time. E-hat? E-hat! Why? Are they making fun of you and I didn't catch it? Bye! Cog. I see that. Where did E-Hat come from? Wrong answers only. E and W? Oh, did I miss it? I didn't see it. You didn't get E-Hat. I don't see an E-Hat.
Oh my god. I was trying to read chat and jump around at the same time. No, I didn't miss anything. I guess I can't read. He meant to say what and said e-hat. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. They're in the opposite order here. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I just read it as what? And then saw e-hat? And then was like e-hat? You get it. You get it. That's enough. Oh. I'm just, I'll pretend it's dyslexia. So I read it correctly. I wonder if that's a thing. Oh, I always do that. Uh, I wonder if, um... If, uh... Because it mostly affects uh, writing more than reading, doesn't it? But I wonder if, uh... If somebody writing with dyslexia, if, the, if it's easier for them to read it, and if it's easier for other people to read it, if they also have dyslexia, probably not. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of shells. I don't know. I know it's very common, but I don't know much beyond that. Esports. Yeah, a lot of pain from above. Maybe more than necessary. It's definitely putting me in a position where I kind of have to go slow. You guys come, come do your thing. Oh my god. Lear troll maker, how you doing? Lee retro maker. So you make retro Lees? Like classic Lees? Old fashioned Lees? The kind of Lees that would shoot somebody in the head. Do, do, do. What's not the guy's name? E. Harvey Oswald? It's Lexia Fonz. I wonder if colors help with that. If you color some of the fonts or some of the letters or the vowels or something. Get out of here. You're just gonna hurt me. Yeah, yeah just go a little slower. It does feel like kind of a lot. And it's not evolving on the idea yet, but maybe it will. It's not too bad if we just go a little slower. Do Walking Deadly. I don't remember a Lee, but I stopped watching after uh, Glenn died. I was just completely over it. After the fake Glenn death. I don't know if he died for real. But that that was just like, oh, okay, well, uh, yeah. I was never super into it. Girl I was dating liked it a lot. But once you get to that point where you're like, well, I'm, I'm lying to the audience, you know, for drama. Like, okay, well, I never paid for the show and I'm not going to start now. That was weird. It worked. It was a little weird. It all worked fine, though. The game? I have the Walking Dead VR game that... <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna do a stupid ending troll, not hurting the player with it is a good way to do it. It was very, very well done. It was very stupid, but it worked really, really well. I was very ready to be very, very angry, and then it was fine, and I'm just like, well, what am I supposed to do with all this anger now? What did that take me? Six minutes? We'll do one more. Oh. Lore is melting. Run.
Yeah, I mean, I asked for that. I did that to myself. Is that one a little too far over now that I got wiggled a bunch? No. Maybe. I don't know. I can't see the camera over here, because I'm really smart. I guess I could just pull it up right there and then see it. Okay, auto-scroller with also, uh, melty floor. Sports. Sports, god damn. Thanks, coffee. Not something important. Oh, fine. Do 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 Okay. We get a little bit of a hook here in that we're getting a lot closer. Uh and the uh area is getting a lot spottier here. Uh I think visually you could get a little bit more of a hook here if you also had some of the ground melting in front of the player by maybe dropping potables down off of tracks over some of the blocks. So it looks like it's still a contiguous path in the second area, but then starts falling apart as more of it melts as you approach it. You don't want it to be so tight the player has to wait for a very difficult or almost impossible, like, last possible frame kind of jump. Uh, but I think that could help add a little bit of flair as this is catching up, too, is if you're seeing these get melted, like, just as you approach. Well, seeing these up in the next area, just as you approach. Yeah, like right in here. Because we have this closing in on us, we can see a little bit of the other thing. The structuring, too, makes the player stop a lot before they get there. Oof. I'll take it. Uh, but solid level. Uh, it's short, so it doesn't need to come up with too many ideas. Uh... And you pivot a little bit from the initial idea for the second segment there, where we're getting a little space here and a little tighter on the jumps as it closes in on us. Yeah, good stuff. I feel like there's definitely more you could do with that idea, but I can't think of anything offhand. I think there's a story level where you chase a fireball that's melting a hole, too. But I feel like that's probably been done to death if it was a story level. Okay, next. Demon Link. 9B3. One of the newer levels, Larry's Castle. Okay, YP6. LGF. Coffee. Cat hair. Coffee and cat hair. There's your level name, Dolphin. That sounds like a level. That's what you want. And that's what AI is great for. Is you want something that sounds kind of like an inside joke. That sounds nice and clever and fun. Hey, at Lappy, thanks for dropping something in there. But then it just isn't. It's just nonsense you thought was funny. Like, uh, what was that? I wrote down some stuff I either wanted. Oh, yeah, not Superworld. It's hard to be dumb all the time. Uh, I wrote down some stuff I wanted to use as level titles. Like, really dumb stuff somewhere. I'm not going to go dig it up right now. I remember I remember one of them was uh, Bonsai Boy Bats. And I just wanted to make a wiener out of Bonsai and Bullet Bills. Drink some water. Drink some water, coffee racist. I did it. Oh. Now I'm more hydrated. Wi-Fi is not cooperating. Well, have you tried turning it off and back on again? As an IT professional, that is where I start. Money, please. $30. Larry's Castle. There's Lemmy's Castle. Did you mean Lemmy's Castle? There's Larry's Castle. Okay. Scrap Super World Course from 2021. Hey, I take care of this. I do actually drink a lot of water. <laughs> Don't you bribe me. 
I also drink a lot of coffee. Coffee has water in it. Oh. Low mushroom. Goodbye mushroom. No, I'm not leaving it. Not the internet, it's my Chromebook. Well, that'll that'll teach you. Is that what the bra was for? Yeah, I mean, Chromebooks are really cool. They are a great way to get on the internet very cheap. But, uh, you do get what you pay for a little bit, so those $99 Chromebooks, they are... They are $99 laptops. For a lot of people, I would say, if you're pretty comfortable working with a Windows-based computer, you're a little bit better off getting a couple generations old PC before you are a Chromebook. But if literally all you need it for... Move slightly. Is, um... Dicking around on the internet and that kind of stuff. They are real solid. Google's crappy long-term support for the devices that are basically like... They're not even really netbooks. They're like... Ah. Uh, a little awkward. Ah. Uh, they're almost like zero clients, so there's no good reason for them to suck as much of a dick as they do. Uh, or for them to, like, lose support as quickly as they do, but... Google's, Google's gonna Google. This is mean. There we go. I knew I could get it. I'm just annoyed it wasn't easier. This one Chromebook was more than that. Okay. Turn it off and on again. Yeah, if it's one of the pricier ones, I would expect it to have pretty decent Wi-Fi. If it's one of those piece of shit seller on ones. Oh, come on. Um, that were, you know, $79, so not great. There are some long-term support options for Chromebooks that are kind of interesting, too. I know there's a couple of alternative uh, Chrome OS builds for them that let you get Steam on them and everything. Yep. Yeah, there's definitely some points here where the pacing feels awkward unnecessarily awkward like getting that uh, co uh, conditional power up if you are big already getting the fire flower getting bonked off here if that comes up in the ceiling it more or less feels like a Super Mario Bros. 1 level uh, that that weird thing with the thwomps and the thwomp and the two fire bars is probably tighter than it needed to be too pretty simple arena uh, especially with Flying Boom Boom, most people are just gonna stick around right here. Um, so maybe a little tiny bit of horizontal interference, especially since we have a checkpoint right before it. Um, or another skewer. I don't- a, a skewer won't reach all the way out, and a skewer going in both directions would feel kind of bad, too. But maybe something. Maybe just bullet bills. Do, 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 do. Your Chromebook makes your frame rate worse with what? Okay, we're doing a lot of bosses. This one has more fire. More potabos. Uh, break the sections up a little bit more. I feel like we had a couple of sections. Yeah, break up the platforming section a little bit to space the bosses in between two platforming sections instead of set them up consecutively. I feel like it's generally more fun. Since Chrome tanks frame rates. Oh, I gotcha. Chrome does do that. And they have talked for years about how it was going to get better, it was going to get better, it was going to get better, but man, Chrome is bad at it. Ah, uh, Chrome, uh... Chrome does some really weird stuff with uh, hardware, like direct hardware addressing that can really mess with games, can mess with streaming and stuff. Um, especially if you're streaming PC games. Firefox used to just be bonkers on never letting go of RAM either, but uh, somebody made a tab suspender add-on for Firefox, and oh my god, now it's just kind of amazing. Actually, I should probably look at going back to Firefox for chat at this point too, so I don't need to leave Chrome open. Um, for a while there, uh, Firefox, Chrome and Fire, 
Twitch in Firefox was doing crazy shit and using up like 20% of my fucking CPU, and it was it was for sure some anti-ad block nonsense they were doing. Hey, you have a little platforming segment here, which is something. It's not just boss to boss. Um, CP after boom boom and pipe. Oh, did I miss it? Did I miss a pipe? Hey, thanks for the follow. I somehow, I somehow got this username. username. Started following. Thank you. How'd you get it? I feel like you picked it. I feel like the myth, the lore behind the username is immediately destroyed when it, it's, we know you had to click it. You had to click it when you got there. Yeah, it was fine. It wasn't great, but it was fine. A little bit of uh, shuffling around could make it really decent, I feel like. Could make it solid. Uh, but it wasn't like bad or anything. It was just, it was okay. You think ripping on people right away on their usernames when they drop right in is, is smart? I think that's I think that's super smart, and I should do that forever. Your numbers will just keep going up. I did make the account, but yeah, I was bored and decided to see if it was available. Yeah, sounds good. See, sometimes they don't say anything, like, uh... Well, Man of Steel never says anything. Maybe it's me. Maybe he's just not interested in what I have to offer. One day, one day he'll drop the nonsense. Oh, Lee. Lee guy. Uh, the Lee guy. Never said anything else. 13, Starfish 14. Thanks for the, 13, thanks for the, 14 thanks for the follow. Following. Thank you. No comment on your username unless you were 13 or 14 years old. Then you're in trouble. You need a goddamn permission slip. Yeah, I read a white paper actually on it that was really interesting. And it only came up because I was asking some other streamers on Twitter like, I'm tired of hearing a man of steel. What does he actually do? Does anybody have any screenshots or anything? Um. Do de do de do de do. And it's not actually raids as far as the, the write up went and as far as anybody said. Um. De do de do de do de do de do. Okay, here. This goes over it, and then the long PDF linked in here goes way deep on it and includes a lot of screenshots and information. Um, but essentially, man of steel just uh says like weird wiener stuff or like says i want to lick your tits um and then bails and it's uh yeah serial harasser which is far less entertaining i understand why that's irritating to people i'm not saying like that's a good thing i thought it was like full-on hate raids and i would always get like the little hint and uh, then the harassment would never start and the moderation set pretty low and i would see it if it came through so Dee -doo, dee -doo, dee -doo. Hey, did I next? Demon Link. No, we just did Demon Link. Apparently we didn't need it. Yeah, he does haunt apparently everybody in Mario Maker and Super Mario World, and I think there was one other one, too. But yeah, Box, if you didn't see that write-up, uh, it's interesting. Um, There's literally like a huge PDF white paper on Man of Steel that they wrote to try and uh, push Twitch towards some action. Okay, next, like an adult. Oh, that might be it. Maybe they have some way to check if you have uh, TTS or something. Um, and when they see that you don't have TTS for following or whatever, uh, then they assume that they won't get a TTS of tit licking or whatever dumb nonsense. Uh, because it, it's it was like it's like graphic fetish stuff, but like it's not so far off the reservation that like the automod will catch it. It's just graphic and weird dee doo dee doo dee doo one r four j l nine oh yeah twitch twitch don't care d l f f they did something after the hate raids but those were going like big they were going big and all over and that had to be a small group but then we eventually did get actual moderation tools to deal with that kind of stuff. Enjoy the song Coconut Malt from Mario Kart Wii. So I just got Coconut Malt just now. Do you not know how traumatic this is for people like us? Me too. Oh, there we go. 
started a little weird. Yeah, it started a little weird, then it cleans up, then it sounds good. Yeah, well, and that might be what it is, too, uh, is that, no. uh... I've never engaged with it, but maybe it was... I, I, I Honestly, I have no idea if it's bot-driven or human-driven, but it almost seems like it has to be human-driven. So maybe it's immediately clear, like, oh, no, not this stream. This guy won't give a shit. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. I feel like it could loop forever uh, if you really wanted to increase the trauma. That was cute. That worked. That did its job. I just got coconut mauled. In general, I think that a music level is better with platforming, even if it's light platforming with some platforming. But, you know, that is not what some people are into. Next! KMH. VT7. At least it wasn't a super long one with no platforming, because that does start to kind of drone on a little bit. Um, but I would imagine that is it is one of the cases where like and it's not it's not don't be a low hanging fruit, but it's more that like if you're reactive to a troll, that troll then knows, especially if it's a human driven troll, they know you're reactive. Writing a white paper for some effort, that could do something. Instructing all of your moderators to always ban them on site, uh, and probably complaining about it after may actually be feeding the uh desperate idiot what they want and uh like, one of the easiest things to deal with that kind of stuff, especially when it starts to get really weird, and we haven't had it in a while. Maybe the vibe repels a lot of it, and the mean chat message right right when it starts on the first chat join. Go down, please. Go down to what? Go down to what? Which one? Give me a name. Um. Uh. But, like, when somebody when somebody's being super, super, like, like obviously seems like they're just trolling, like, you, you just... You just pound it. You just pound it and, and move. Move on. Ban. Kick, ban, go. Yeah, something like that. Uh, something that automates the action without addressing it, without giving them anything. Go to 34. Uh, you're not up yet, Mr. Lappy. Oh, but I bet I have a message from you while I'm waiting. Uh, Giant Mario. There it is. Complita cara de sapio tu mente y tus reflejos. Was that Spanish? Did I Spanish? Yo quiero leche de hombre, por favor. That's my favorite Spanish sentence. Some Spanish ladies I worked at in a bakery called me a pig. Uh, all the time. Uh, cugino, right? That's pig or asshole or something like that. Like gross asshole. Uh, so I talked to Buddy and was like, well, let's, let's figure out, help me figure out the, the correct grammar on, like, the grossest thing we can do. Like, how do we ask him for, like, like, semen, like a handful of semen or something? That's, that's what we came up with. May I have milk of the man, please? Yo quiero leche de hombre, por favor. Red coin level, safety coin, big Mario. His name is Blake. The actual guy's name is Blake? The, the full-on, uh... Uh... Man of Steel? I don't know. I've known really sad Blakes. Like, super sad indoor incel Blakes. But then I've known, like, ripped-ass Chad Blakes. Like, I can't... I feel like I can't make a judgment on Blake. Like, I can for a name like Doug. Oh, okay. Uh, I wish I could see more of what was about to happen. Like, I wish instead of dropping me directly on the bomb, that you placed me on a platform with wings or something that gave me a second to see what we're going. Supa mi pola. No habla. Unfortunitos. <laughs> yeah, because I really can't see what I'm getting into there, so I'm not going to be holding jump the first time. And you put donut blocks right here. Give me donut blocks over there, bud. I mean, suck my dick. Nice. Well, see, I would, I would, I would just tell them to fuck off, and then they would threaten me with knives. They, they liked that. They liked the cuchillo, cuchino, and then waving a knife in my face. I to make it worse. Uh, oh, these are all the exits. Okay, proceeding. Uh, can I go in that other door? 
and just have a free? Looks like I might be able to. Am I on a timer here? I am on a timer here. But you gotta get your shit together. No me cortas para. Don't cut me, bitch. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, where were you when I was the saddest baker? Just kill me. One of them pretended she didn't speak a single word of English, and then she laughed at like, uh, not not like it wasn't like a long or uh like a big joke about diarrhea, but it was like a joke about diarrhea with Taco Bell that required like contextual understanding of what it was going on about, and she like cracked up and then, and then I knew and then I knew and then I spent the entire rest of my time there. Trying to get her to just admit it. Hey, Barnstorm. It's going. It's going pretty good. Oh. Okay, I hit all of them and then one of them didn't go off? Come on. Eh. Rough around the edges. Real rough around the edges. Uh, you, the level's doing a really poor job of communicating to the player what you expect of them. Um, and is often throwing me in without any warning. Once again, we missed it. I don't know why one of those is getting missed, or why the timing is so goddamn bad in that area. Even when we're doing the, the doubling up there. Bad. Destroy a pow, and the munchers are out of the screen. They survive. Well... Then shouldn't you have done less uh, pows so that the player wouldn't be in a position where they'd be off screen? Like, it, it sounds like you're blaming me, but I didn't actually design the level. Are you kidding? Am I supposed to take damage there? I feel like keeping the, the big mushroom was a part of the game, but maybe I'm supposed to take damage there. Yeah, you can also hit two of them at once, so you can get in a position where you're just fucked. Don't fuck me! Ugh. Yeah, and the player shows very often. We, the first room we went in, the player was tossed into a dumpster. Uh, like, immediately needed to know to hold jump. The player's not gonna know to hold jump if you don't show him. So they're just gonna die, and I get that there's a checkpoint right there, but it still feels bad. Don't cut me, you bitch. No me cuertas para! Okay, see, this one starts nice and gentle. You get the concept. You let the player see what's coming. Always do that. Hmm. Annoying. Maybe we're doing it bad, though. Sports. Yeah, player gets to see it for a second, and then they get to hop on the boat. Oh, weird. Okay, so trigger it and then climb, I think. I think that's what we're doing there. Yo quiero leche de hombre, por favor. There we go. Okay. We're a little dumb. But we figured it out. Jump up? Oh, 
feel like I didn't have a lot of time to see what was coming there. Yeah, a lot of... A lot of just, like, quick drops on the player here. Uh, uh, destroy the vine block in the middle. Oh! If I break the vine block, does the vine just fix in place? That makes sense. That makes a lot more sense than I'm supposed to jump up there really fast. That makes a whole lot more sense than, look, the track ends. Go fast. Which, I mean, it's trying to communicate, but just communicating something that makes me sad. Oh yeah, neat. Doesn't that make sense? I don't know why I would think that the vine would continue falling, but I did not know what to expect. Does anything other than the player interact with vines? I don't think there are any enemies that we could place on a vine. But it would be fun if there were some way you could force the player to build a contraption that way. There we go. Right in the middle. Mostly. 60-40. Oh, that's the door we started in. Okay. Interact with the vine that stops the vine? That's not what you meant? Yeah, I was trying to think of, like, there's any... any other interactables that you could do that you could use to make the player set something up with vines that would be kind of fun to play with like that sports okay so hit flutter to hit the second one and then get out of the boot okay Wrong, but less wrong. Yeah, this one too. You let the player see what's coming. So, I'm confused why we were bad at it earlier. Just uncovered a file I haven't opened in eight years. Mugen. Not Mugen S? You talking about the emulator? I was messing with that. I liked uh, a lot of the simplicity that was in Mugen, but uh, SNES 9X has come so far that it's just like, just just do that. Bizhawk. Oh, the fighting game. I'm not familiar with the fighting game. I'm over here thinking we're talking about emulators. I have some pretty old files laying around. I was, oh, there's hair in my shoe, in my sock. It's making me crazy. I'm kind of hoping I can figure out where the oldest ones are. There's there's definitely a way to do that. See that? Can you see that on this camera? Not really. What happens when you date a lady who sheds all the time? Somehow her sock, her sh hairs get in my socks. I swear to God, it has to be an elaborate prank. Okay. Oh, oh. <sighs> Yeah, a lot of these you let us you let us see what's coming. So the first couple not doing that feels bad. That's cute. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, this room has a fun premise. That feels a little janky, but we might just not be hitting it right. Oh, bad. Rushing back to muscle memory, man. 
So I've been playing back through Mega Man Battle Network, and the third one lets you put in these uh, stupid codes to either override problems with the stupid character programming, or to add in little additional things. And as soon as I get in there, I was like, wait, I remember this. I remember one of these. I can't remember shit, but I could remember GJ Hurry, H-U-R-I-E, and then the second weird symbol from literally like 10 years back was the one for a bunch of bonus hit points. It just stuck in my head that you type on this crappy little two-line keyboard. Sometimes stuff just gets stuck in there and it rattles around forever. And then other stuff like, man, what was that thing that I just changed last week that was super important? Oh, that's awkward. That's very awkward. We're like 20 years from now when I fire up like Bioshock. And I'm like, shit, uh, what was the fucking fix for the mouse in this game? I remember this fucking game had a weird mouse. And then, you know, the lady in my life would be like, really? You forgot my eye color a week ago? And you remember this game's mouse settings. Yep. Hard drive's only got room for nonsense. I can't wait longer there. I don't understand how I'm fucking this up every time. Yeah, I do not understand how I'm fucking this up every time. But I'm annoyed. I'm very annoyed. We'll try that one more time, then we'll go look at the last one. Overall, though, it really feels like there's, there's a wide, wide variety of difficulty levels in here that is too far apart. Maybe I'm supposed to land back on the first platform after I break that and then jump on the second platform? But the, the difficulty variety is so wide that it feels baffling for a single level. It feels inappropriate. It feels poorly designed. On top of that, a number of the rooms do not let the player see what's coming. And you, yeah, there we go. You clearly understand that the player should be need that and will do it if. God, why? I'm already racing. I'm all. I'm literally. I'm already racing. Fucking bullets. So instead of letting me use a bullet there, you set up a weird auto shell jump thing. Like I see where the shell is, but I can't see the spring, so I don't actually know what you're setting up. I assume it might be that, but. One shot to get that right so I can catch up to the bullets to not take damage? Like, what is happening here? And meanwhile, some of the levels are just like, yeah, you just, you go in here and you hit some pow, hit, hit two pows, two sets of pows, and you did it. And then one of them is just totally broken, and I maybe isn't pow, oh my god, and then one of them is this. One of them is a fucking bomb climb. Yeah, and if this is the difficulty level you want to go for, then why in the balls... Oh, God, I hate this with the big mushroom. Then why in the balls are so many of the rooms so easy? It's weird. Yeah, like the Konami code, just stuck in all of our heads forever. This one even lets me try again without refreshing the room. If I take damage, but it can't spawn another bob -omb, so... What possible purpose could this serve? Oh, I'm not supposed to do the thing. I'm supposed to climb the vine. Okay. So then, not as crazy difficult as it looked. Still confusing. Probably a lot easier than it looks. Yeah. Okay, that, that's actually kind of fun. Uh, then on the complete flip side, crazy easy compared to the weird cannonball setup. Uh, I think that's all of them, except for the ones that were pissing me off. Yeah, I was gonna say, the last room that people are gonna do chronologically, literally being like, hide the stuff, was gonna make me, like, full-on boo it, and be like, what's wrong with you? No, we did this one. Yeah, I think we looked at all of them. Yeah, uh, it definitely could use a polish. It could use a pretty firm polish pass to make it less goofy. Uh, they're, they're just, there's a lot of weird choices made in the pacing, especially in the first two rooms that the player's bound to look at, that you could very easily just put a platform under and give the player something to see there. Um. 
the setup with the with the shell jump isn't terrible, but it comes out of nowhere when we're already jumping on uh bullets. So it's just like what the fuck are you doing? Where are you do where is this coming from? LTJ uh cog. And I think you'd be much better served by trying to have that area deliver another bullet, maybe a different type of bullet. Or maybe just fire a bullet straight up. Uh, and if you wanted it to be some left field thing, red bullet or something like that. Red bullet bill that chases the player and winds up there if they're on course. Uh, Oofity, what do you want me to take a look at here, bud? There appears to be a boss we didn't touch yet. I'll just sit here, filling myself with drugs. I drank all the coffee. The laser cutting on this was really bad. Let me get it in there. Uh, so we, we printed it twice and both of them just would not stick down right. So what I did is I used the scalpel to cut off all the points where the, uh, the laser cut was all crappy. And it ended up making it look like crackled and nice. And now it actually looks like intentional and not terrible, which is kind of cool happy about that fine storm thanks for dropping something in there do i get priority since i sub nope no what do people do that no you sub to sub be supportive and not watch ads not to jump forward in the queue if we ever do weighted random i'd probably do subs first if we ever got to that point where it was so flooded i had to do that that could incentivize subbing more but with me not incentivizing subbing at all really because we get through the queue anyway it just seems better to just do it as a rotation but if you would really like to see subs prioritized, what you could do is do all the promotion that I should be doing for me, make the channel huge. And then when there are too many people for me to manage, then I'll do weighted random, but I'll do sub random first. Fine, Storm, thanks for dropping something in there. That'll be fun to look at. What do you, where'd you go? Where the fuck did you go, Mr. Oofity? Dee do dee do dee do dee do dee do. We're gonna look at this. Pick any, he says. I knew you were still there. You're just deaf. No, no, I'm offended now. Now you have to. I have to go promote my channel for me. Stupid TikToks. I had a I had a stupid uh YouTube short get like five thousand goddamn views. Absolutely none of that converts to converts to anything. The shorts don't appear to let you have like uh embedded links to click out. So it's not like I can like link somebody to the Twitch channel and then hope they follow. I don't think there's a deep linking for like to click something that makes you follow somebody on Twitch. I don't think that's a thing. I guess I could look. Ow. Um, and TikTok doesn't either. I had a couple thousand hits on stupid clips on TikTok. I hate that shit. I hate all of that shit. But Twitch put together, hey, I think we did this one previously. But I don't remember if I had criticism for it. So it must have been re-uploaded for some reason. But it's not pissing me off now. Maybe it was, uh, maybe it was too spicy before and now it's gentler with the power-ups. Oh, God. Wendy and a bunch of fireballs. But yeah, I hate I hate all that shit. I hate auto playing videos. I really I really think that's like actually bad for our brains, like physically, to sit there and have algorithmically delivered auto playing content. Oh, you're fucked. Oh, I'm fucked now, lady. Come here. Yeah, I mean I'll take two hundred dollars. Yeah, go for it. Drop it in there. I don't know why you're sorry, but yeah, pump it in. What is that? Uh, twenty five subs. Yeah, let's go. Money me. Money need a lot now. Last part was too much, so I re-uploaded it. Yeah, yeah, it's fucked. But Twitch made it really easy to convert clips into stupid vertical garbage for dipshit zoomers. Um, so if you happen to be both a zoomer and a fucking dead ass 
for real broccoli cut. I don't know. I didn't fuck fuck. You know what I mean? This very specific kind of dipshit who is just like this. Then, then I'll at least stick them in there. I'll stick them in there if it's easy. It takes it takes like one minute to convert them, and then it can upload straight to Shorts automatically. And then you download it, and then I you just stick it on TikTok. So I figured I I can I can spend five goddamn minutes doing it while I smoke before bed while I'm winding down anyway. And see if it does anything, and it, it pisses me off a little bit, but uh, it's easy. But I don't think there's any way for that to convert. Like everybody's always screaming, like, "Oh, this is this is the way. This is the way that it, tur it turns into viewers and blah blah." Are any of you? Are any of you guys like new people? Are you? Did you see it on TikTok? You're like, oh, I should, I should go follow this guy. He seems so fucking cool, or whatever, whatever words go into your head. For real, no cap, bussin. I'm annoyed that I can't damage the lady, at all. You could probably deliver the player grabbable shells as well, so they had a f another damage option after the fireballs were gone. Mario MLG 64, how you doing? Following. Thank you. Did you find out about my videos on TikTok or YouTube Shorts? No, because then you wouldn't already be following. I'm pretty sure. I guess I could try to schedule them for when I go live. I bet all the platforms have that. No and no. Yeah, I don't. I don't really care. Welcome. Hello. How's your mom? Yeah, shells could have been they they would have given the player a backup if they take too much damage. Uh and you could you should be able to deliver a grabbable shell. Uh pretty pretty easy well no, then they'd be walking around. There's definitely ways to deliver the player grabbable shells though. Can't think of anything offhand. Oh good, I'm smart. Definitely didn't need to rush it. There we go. Yeah, I don't I did not fight this boss, so maybe you had fireballs to throw at him. I don't know. I have not I have not gotten this deep into the, the tower of pizzas. But yeah, that that was the greater point of the rant. Not that I ex expect instant gratification for sticking videos on the platform. You know, if I if I grab a clip that I think is cool, I'll stick it up there. Although the one that got five thousand views on YouTube was not cool. This is annoying. I bet this is where I was annoyed the first time, too. Um, the, the one that got, like, 5,000 views on YouTube is fucking garbage. It's just a bad... Like, I made a bad choice. I I flew the wrong way uh, at the end of a friggin' acorn level and then turned it around. But it wasn't even that good. I was just like, ah, that's an okay clip. I have no idea. I don't understand what people will click on. But maybe that's what it is, too, is the, the barely... The barely good content that doesn't make you feel anything, maybe that feels like a relief from all the outrage culture, and that's what people want. Maybe I'm extrapolating too much. I have no idea. I was annoyed with the phase afterward, yeah. Good thing somebody remembers. <laughs> So the hits, even though they make that click sound, the hits while they're in the shell do not count at all. Oh. Oh god, they bounce off of everything. Oh. Yeah, we have just no capacity to hit her after we take damage too many times. I did learn recently with shorts, if for some reason you really want to watch it, and if you do, I'm, I'm so sorry that you exist, that you make choices like this, but if for some reason you really want to watch it, even from channels I follow, I don't watch their fucking shorts. I don't care. Uh... Put it in a goddamn video. I don't watch YouTube on my phone, and I don't want to watch video like this! I want to watch it like this. I want to watch it like this.
I don't want to watch it like this. Why do people want to look at rectangles this way? I hate you. Um, but you can change the title from shorts. You can change the word shorts in the title to watch, and it will load it in the standard YouTube video player. So just in the URL where it says shorts, change it to the word watch, and it will load it, and you'll be able to scrub and speed up and slow down and fucking pause. Why is there not pause? Whose idea was pause? Was, hey, let's have a video player without pause. Oh, or if you want to see the end of the video, you really should watch literally the whole goddamn thing. Oh, you want to show somebody else the end of the video? Well, just watch the whole goddamn thing. You don't need your two goddamn minutes. Son of a bitch. Okay, good, they're flying. Do feel a bit unhappy? Yeah. Wendy, Wendy's a fucking bitch. Wendy's uh, projectiles also bounce on her. And, oh shit. Maybe also that they bounce on the boo? They were bouncing off something else before, too. They don't bounce off the fire. Maybe it was just her or the oh, muncher. Oh, for fuck's sake! That's not the muncher. Yeah, so it's just it's a lot of things that end up making it messy and hard to predict. Bring this. This is mine. I haven't complained about the part I hate the most. No volume control. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. It's just, there's no reason to strip all that out, either. And if they really wanted to do it, like, for a short, specific thing, even if you want to go really app-centric, which is, is so annoying anyway. I, I hate, I hate fucking apps for websites. Just make the website work better. They only do it in an app because they can steal more data from you to sell in an app. Like, that's the whole reason. Um... This isn't, like, crazy conspiracy stuff. This is in shareholder meetings. They talk about this. They love the app. They can get so much data about you in the app. That's why Facebook wants you to have the app installed so bad. That's why Instagram only literally had an app for the longest time. Aww. Hmm. Fuck. Uh, but even if you wanted to do it really, really app-centric, have a button for play out of shorts. Like, have a go to YouTube button or something like that. Oh, for fuck's sake. That was lucky. Thank God. That's weird. Why did his muncher load in mid-air like that? But then it still sticks to him. The more I see this fight, the more I wish I did it different. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm already at the, uh... I'm already deep, but yeah, I was gonna move on after this one. But I'm not gonna pick something else after ten minutes in a level. I'm just done when I'm done. <laughs> I'll pick something else if I'm like a minute in. Oh, god damn it. I want to die up here. Say this for the whole thing is a warning. The last part of the fight is a quick draw? Oh, god. That sounds mean. Is there a checkpoint right before it? It should have a checkpoint right before it. But yeah, the shorts pester me. And okay, you want to consume content like this? You're wrong. This is wrong. It makes sense for, like, actual, like, bust portrait-style content presentation, but it's not, like, how our vision works. Like, our vision sees this way. Your head isn't this way, it's this way. So you make the best use of the space by doing that. I get that this is a small screen. We live on small screens, so if you're trying to present human-focused content, a human fits this space better than they fit this space. But there's no excuse on Earth for fucking people who film horizontal content, like gameplay or something. They film it vertically, 
and then it's in one third of the screen. So you have you have this. I I'm I know, I know I'm just ranting, but you have you have your phone like this, and then they have their their correctly their their fucking horizontal content like this in the middle, and it's just like what the fuck is wrong with you? Because they filmed it horizontal. They filmed something that was landscape in portrait. And then it just sits in the middle with just black on the edges. And it's just like, what in the fuck is wrong with you? Turn your phone. Wow. I also hate curved phones. I swear to God, this is maybe getting a little bit into the conspiracy territory. But I swear to God, curved glass was entirely designed to make it hard for screen protectors to be good or usable. And they wanted to do that specifically so that more people would forego screen protectors, break their phones faster, and buy more phones. RFG. Uh, curved glass is real. Curved glass is real, and it's so annoying. Samsung's really big on it. Um, LG, I think, was doing it. Somebody else is doing it, too. I think everybody does it now. I know Apple. I think Apple's doing it now, too. Yeah, you see a lot of that too, like, cropped weirdly around the gameplay. It just sucks. It sucks. Go watch my shorts! Nick, Super World, touchy touch. Yeah, the curved phones are more, um, rounded, rounded glass. Like, the glass is curved on the edges to make it look, I don't know, like a cheap CRT. I honestly, I have no idea why. what compels anyone to want to use a, a curved phone screen. People say it feels premium, but it really just feels like one of those things where everybody's repeating marketing terms that they heard and liked. Um, and they just like it because it's different. Uh, but I think that specific type of different was selected because it uh, makes it... It's very, very hard to find cur uh, screen protectors for curved glass that are not horrible. And I feel like that was definitely on purpose. There we go. Just dumb. There we go. Goodbye. Like, I hate myself. I don't know. I have a folding phone and I like it. But the screen is flat on the front. And on the inside. Oh, but I didn't buy it because it's like, oh god, new, gotta have. It's a fold three. I'm, I'm like a generation and a half behind now. Um, there we go. Am I doing that? That's probably what I'm doing. Um, but I don't like. Uh, I like using the browser on mobile. Maybe Coin Trail, huh? Uh, I like using the mobile browser in desktop mode, and a large tablet style phone makes that really, really easy. Also makes it really easy to do, like, actual work on there. If I really have to deal with, like, an email and logging into a bunch of systems and a bunch of shit, it's way easier to do on a big phone. Oops. There we go. Oh, fucked it. This time, we will not. Motorola's really nice keyboard phones. It flows really, really well. For a really simple premise, this, uh, this has really good pacing and structure so far. Even for the large vertical segments, which can be really tough in a in a game, in an area like this, uh, where you can lose track of the camera, we don't have anything blowing us up or getting in the way, and it's very nice. Okay, less dumb. I said less! Oh, okay, that's that's tight. Okay. Oh god. We probably could have left it at one.
Three makes sense. At least it's not all five. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's a cute little boss fight. Mixes it up while still playing around with snowballs, so the theme is really nice. And then we still have a little finisher here on the same theme. That's good stuff. That's just that's just great. That's just solid. It took me three minutes. We'll do one more. Do I like the snow? map theme. Yeah, fun little level. Icicle path. Man, sometimes, sometimes you get, like, fixated on a stage object, and then you do too much with it. There's a lot of icicles. And it's fine at first, and then we go with every part of the stage is icicle. Hopefully, hopefully that was the hard spot. That was the icy spot. Oh, I did it to myself. I don't think I actually want these. I think I want to just jump on them and keep moving. Did that to myself. Oh, yeah, if I'm not trying to stop there to line it up, that doesn't feel as bad. Uh, can you, can you get killed by that? No. No, you cannot. Turns out they kick the fireballs if they land on you. They kill the track fireballs. Well, that sounds kind of nice. That sounds like a nice thing to have, too. I feel like players would appreciate that in a fight every boss on the planet level. It's a way to clean up the arena a little bit. I need a sec. I need a sec because I'm dumb. Need water? Oh. I need nicotine. Why is my heart rate still going up? Calm down! <laughs> Yeah, Wendy's balls really, really put a lot of pressure on the player. And when the player, uh, they, they can take three hits, but it still feels like there are so many things coming at the player. In general, I'd rather it stick to the three hits one way or the other, and making the player use fireballs means they have to do more. There we go. Uh, more than just jump on the spam jump on the enemy. But if that's what you're going with, is they must use the fireballs, it feels really bad to not have fireballs available. Um, so figuring out a way to make the arena feel about the same as the other arena, so it doesn't feel incredibly frustrating, like, with her generating these long-lasting, annoying things, would be really nice. And maybe the option there, if you still want it to feel like an escalation over the other ones without it just being Wendy, is some other type of uh, interference, but something intermittent, so the player can get ready for the interference that's coming, uh, and then uh, prepare to, like, dodge it or whatever. So it's something like that. Like, every couple of seconds, something stupid happens. Like, a large shell gets fired across the arena. 
large spiky shell. What was it? I think it was Super Mario World, something they could spin jump on it, but you know, something like that. Doesn't this take forever? Doesn't he take like nine goddamn icicle hits? I'm gonna be really annoyed if he does. Hopefully it's three. Okay. Yeah, cause don't don't icicle hits on Bowser take a fucking eternity. to figure out. Yeah, maybe ditch Wendy. There are a lot of other enemies that shoot a lot of crap as you damage them, um, that stick to the fireball paradigm that you have with the other two. So, maybe Wendy's just a bad choice. Maybe just do, uh, Ludwig, I think, is the one who shoots a shitload of fireballs. Uh, which at least will feel a little bit more dodgeable. Maybe not, though. Maybe that'll end up feeling really bullet helly. I did not like that. Uh, it was okay. Uh, it definitely felt like a downgrade from where we were at. Um, it didn't feel like there was a great idea, it just kind of felt like... It, it felt like I needed one more snow level, so that was the best you could come up with in a pinch. Do, do, because you maybe didn't want to have just, what, four levels before the boss? But I think that would have been fine. Felt like filler. Felt like filler. I could see that boss fight getting really frustrating, too, if you didn't, like, really clearly fixate on those icicles will kill me if I stop under there, so I'm just running under to trigger it. Lappy, let's see what you're up to here. Is it Mario Maker or OCW? It's OCW. Yeah, I see it. Let me stick it in there. Let me get her and stick it in there. Oops. Oh. Downloads. Force data. No, paste. Copy and replace. Copy and replace. And push the button. Is that the right button? No, that's the right button. 34. How could you not remember? I don't know. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, Lappy. And if I haven't, just, just bear with me. Uh... Sometimes I need to I need to make sure I cover this with uh, with new viewers like you, but um once in a while my uh head drive here whatever those are called you know uh memories you're not great. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, so start from the beginning or just draw, jump into it in the editor. Fly. Custom bosses are tough to make. They are. My, my Brian forgets things. Yeah, whoever that is. He's, uh, forgetful. 34. 24, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So many nuts. Yeah, they help me know, uh, they help me get my bearings. Important to have all the nuts. Enter subworld, enter middle pipe. New puzzle in the land of crazy stuff. Oh yeah, this this looks new. We got a power a P switch down there. We got a box. With the exit. There's a door in the box that goes to the lower right. We got that. Oh, and we have death hole. Okay.
yeah, can be really, really fun. Like, uh, Mechabazilla. I feel like you've done some pretty fun custom bosses, too. I swear to God we had, uh, yeah, we had some cool ones in the, the Metroid levels. Hmm. Okay. That gives me a spring. Can I do anything with that yet? I better be able to. That move, uh, this? Is this a thing? Yes. Is this cheese or is that what I'm supposed to do? Tended, okay. Uh, should I go up here? No. There's a death block for me, but no exit without a door. Okay. Nintended. Come back here. You switch. Okay, I can definitely do something with this. And get this. Wow! Mean. Grab this so that we can keep getting P switches. Uh, I don't know why that pushed itself, but okay. This will break the icicle, right? Breaks the icicle, then I can go and get the other thing down there, and then I can still get back up here. So let's do that. That did not break the icicle. It did deathlock me. Yeah, did I manage to just get it under the launcher? That must have been what it was. Okay. I thought it would break the icicle. Yeah, I can't get that other pow down there. Oh, cheese. Oh. oh, that's also a one way. Wow. Well, that's better than dying, I guess. I'm definitely not going down that way. Wrong. There we go. That's much easier than doing a shitload of work. Greedy world had one ways. It would. It would be easier. Uh, so... It's a weird omission, too, to not give us, uh, one ways. But Nintendo loves their bad choices. I don't see how I can get down from here, so all I can really do is take something through the door. And I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to go down the blue part. Down, oh no, even if I could, I'll die. Uh, so... This seems the most useful. Does this do anything? Friggin' sets it off. Esports. Put the burden on the player to acquire what? A one way? Does this benefit me? No, I can't go in that pipe. 
I can get a pot. Oh, a P switch this way. Yeah, I mean, hopefully that gets put together eventually by some of the fine folks working on Mario Maker 2 stuff. I am suddenly very tired. There's a P-Switch there. I'm not sure how that would benefit me, though, but... Uh... No. No, I don't... I don't see that benefiting me. Is this something? No. No, it is not. I don't want to be in there. That's for sure. Okay. Need to place a parachuted fire flower somewhere? Where the fuck am I putting a fire flower? Where's it coming from? In what hole? In what hole? Hey, does this hide everything? Oh, everything except the top camera. Maybe I'll leave that, actually. Oh, and it doesn't hide the, the level thing anymore, either. I guess, except you can see everything, almost. Uh, that's my scribbler. Four tile clear pipe here. Right edge in that hole should be a fire flower. Uh, that's the right edge. So maybe these ones? Maybe this one? Other four tile clear pipe? Do, 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 do. Oh, I see it in the picture. Okay, so, uh, right here. Was it missing? It's missing! Is that because of how I loaded it in? Or is it just missing? I turned into a brick block. Wow. So you said it's supposed to be a fire flower? See what happens? See what happens when you provide levels without testing? Is it supposed to be a fire flower or kitty cat? What did Echo say? Uh, where? Where did Echo say? you want to have a, a thing put on you it won't let me put a friggin thing on it something the power block can bounce on okay do, 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 do. you'll send me a new level file did he say something I don't know I had uh, DMs open Garbage man. Become garbage man because of sexual experimentation. Thank you, Dolphin. Do, 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 do. Oh. Oh, shit. I hit next by accident. Barnstorm, remind me. I meant to hit the other button. Remind me that you're next. So I don't have to cycle through. Lappy. You're a monster. I think if I do, I can postpone around the thing. Next, postpone. Oh, this is time consuming. Next. Because I think if I just did select, uh, wouldn't it have skipped Barnstorm then? I think it would have. You're not ready? Please move on. Oh! 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 I'll give you a minute to fix it then. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Back to reality. Back to the other reality. Uh, did I do it right? I did do it right. Okay, so next is Lappy.
which is wrong, and then we'll just postpone, and then <laughs> we're on Barnstorm. Yeah, it was, uh, it was exercise in futility. 51X, oh, you know what it is? I turned off that AC because it's leaky, and now I'm hot. 51X, and that's making me tired. Hey, sometimes you just gotta turn the wheels. Sometimes you just gotta spin the wheels. Six extra P. P is stored in the Q. K W G. You fucking heard me. Oh, hey, I like the moon theme. Profoundly talented Kathy Beef. Kathy Beef, huh? I wonder if Kathy Beef was a steak lady. Or a chicken lady. Do, 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 do. This is hold right and run with controlling your jumps. Okay. Yeah, I have this in uh, Beat Saber. This is a good one. Oh, I did need it. Okay. I was like, wait, did I cheat? Nope. Nope, I accidentally did all correctly. Do, 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 do. There was a moment there when I was like, are we going to one-shot it? That moment is gone now. Ah! <laughs> I see that it was intentional, but it spooks me when I'm trapped in a bunch of one ways. When I'm trapped in a bunch of on off bog. Oh. I can only imagine how dumb I would be at English if it was not my first language. Uh, I hope I don't need the red coins. I do, don't I? Yikes. Fun. Fun track! They just show you where to jump to line thing. You don't need them. Okay, good. Yeah, it goes. Moon thing does its job. Even on the NES, it was, you know, really rocking. But there are a lot of mixes of it from there, too. Oof. One of those songs that really sticks in your head. Power-ups are placeholders for other objects. Ah, so then your your placeholders got replaced with other placeholders. And then their places were uh, no longer held. Nailed it. Oh, spikes! It was from the DuckTales game, right? I was pretty sure it was from the DuckTales game. Did they remake the DuckTales game? Because if they did, I feel like I did not know that. What did they remake it on? Oops. Oops. Yeah, what did they remake it on? 
You meant the reboot of the show. The game song was in the show. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it would work good in a cartoon. But I was gonna say, also, if DuckTales is Nintendo. Oh no, DuckTales is probably Looney Tunes, right? Do, do, do. I don't know who owns Duck. Who owns fucking Scrooge and his kids? It is Disney? Yeah, if Disney's gonna be remaking old platformers, which it sounds like they didn't. Uh. Wait, why is in my head so wrong? I was gonna say, remake MC Kids. That was fucking McDonald's. MC Kids was another weird, like, licensed property platformer for the NES, though, that was weirdly, like, really good. Ugh. I don't know what's happening to my brain. I'm pretty sure McDonald's doesn't own Disney yet. Or Disney doesn't own McDonald's. Give it time. Okay, now how do I keep fucking this up here? Okay, we just need to stretch for it. Ah! Yonoid game. I did not play the Yonoid game. DuckTales Remastered on Steam. It is 75% off. What's the remaster look like? Did they do like... Oh, they did not do modern pixel art graphics. Oh, it kind of looks like they did. Well, here, you guys can just look at it with me. Uh, Firefox. Uh, it kind of looks like they did uh, cartoon graphics, but kind of shitty cartoon graphics. They should have gone like full Cuphead. They should have gone like full Cuphead. That would have been fucking great. But they did kind of like flash animation cartoon graphics with, uh, God, it looks like old PC game style digital art backgrounds. God, that looks bad. God, that looks bad. Yeah, they should have, they should have just, they should have just done animators, man. The weird thing is, is I bet all the, I bet all of the the really cool, uh, like all the backgrounds from the friggin' show are probably all individual files somewhere, or pictures somewhere that they could have just done really nice scans of and used. Bizarre. And I'm dumb. That's a walk off there. Okay, so just walk off. Just walk off and don't be dumb. Remember how good I was at this level at first? Those were the days. Several minutes ago. Aww. Came out like 2010. Reboot of the show came around 2018. Interesting. That would explain why I've heard so many modern renditions of, uh... The Moon theme as well. If there was another big, big bump on it. Oh my god, I keep missing that now. There we go. Yeah, the spaghetti is taking over. Mm. Taking over! It owns me! That's probably why. It's all the weird... All the weird Disney McDonald's stuff. My mom had a collection of those stupid... Any of you guys in your 30s, almost 40s, might remember those. Stupid fucking collectible Lion King cups that she thought would be so valuable. It's like, lady, you fucking drink alcohol out of these constantly. They're falling apart. They're worth nothing. They're still somewhere with all of her garbage. Oh. Yeah, the people who get all crazy about collecting McDonald's toys are dumb. That fucking chicken nugget Tetris? Yeah, I'd play with that thing. I would like that thing. 
Like, oh, I gotta get all the things because McDonald's has new things. Like, fuck off. Fuck off. I need an adult. I need a good slap. And with momentum, you will fully jump over the pipes at the end. Pain. I must have been a little behind. Maybe I delayed somewhere. Balls. Yeah, it's really weird they didn't do a better job on the graphics in the remaster. It's bizarre not to have just... Because I feel like they would have had art resources from the show not like they're going to be working for him but they could have been like hey can you guys pull these for me and instead of just referencing it be like yeah so we're going to photograph these and digitize them and they're going to look really nice but instead they made it look like penis balls from 1996 there we go there we go oh god is that it makes you sick of the song by the end of it. And I missed him. Hello? Oh, goodbye! Yeah! Hi. I was doing... I couldn't blink! Or breathe. Whew! No, I'm not... I'm not sick of it. That that song is excellent, so that's that's a hard one to, to get sick of. I was actually doing bad on purpose, so we could keep listening to it. Congratulations. No, you missed one of the dishes. Do it. You're the dishwasher. Do it. Do it. Take the cup. Take the cup. <laughs> no, Please. Don't. Yeah. I know you take the cup when you're on Well, don't come talk to me when I'm on camera if you don't want to be extra annoying. Yeah. She knows what's going to happen. I just want her to accidentally participate and then I can take a clip of it and be like, ha ha. Ha ha. You were on the stream. Because she's dumb about it. Was throwing for content. No! It was just so I could hear it. No, come on. I don't need I don't need to throw. I don't need to throw for content. The uh Yeah, I was throwing for music. <clears throat> On here, what do we got? And then we got Oofity up next. Oofity, what you want me to take a look at here? Oh, I just saw Nana's thing. That Heidi's fucking switch just turned on so she could play more. Goddamn Earthbound. Yeah, that was great, Barnstorm. Great stuff. No ducks. No ducks anyway. W1X LTJ COG. COG. I don't need I don't need to throw for content. The intrusive thoughts win so often. I'll make the worst possible choices or cram myself into a one by one obvious soft lock and be like, why is there soft lock here? I think we did all of them. We did all the pizza tower. Oh shit, I love Katana Zero. Man, I really want DLC or a sequel to Katana Zero. We got Blasphemous 2 coming out later this month. Katana Zero felt like um almost the sister game to the Messenger for me. They came out around the same time, or at least I played them around the same time. And, uh... Like, The Messenger is one of my favorite games of all time. Messenger is fucking absolutely legendary with how good of a Metroidvania it was halfway through. Before that, it's not. Um, Katana Zero is one of those games where it felt like this isn't enough. Like, this is such a good idea. It's so well executed, and it's not enough. 
Also, I didn't realize until uh, the end of it that you could slow down time. I did not realize it until I could not finish that last fucking fight. That last fucking fight with the with the goddamn lady who also, I think, slows down time, but the military fight, the little military dungeon fight. Uh, and I was like, wait a sec, what the fuck? I feel like it wasn't well explained. I do not feel katanaed. That game had such a good secret boss fight, too. I don't know, but it sure did make the game a lot harder, but really fun. But then it also made me think after, I was like, shit, I should speedrun this. I should actually, I should, hang on. That should be, I should have that on Steam. I have it on Switch. I'd rather play it on Steam anyway. Um, But if that's on sale, I should get it. It looks like it's not. It's on my wish list already. It's not on sale. Be on sale. Um, I should see what a, uh, run looks like for me on time versus what the speed run looks like. I'm sure the speed run is insanely well optimized by now. I'm always kind of thinking about like, man, I would like to find something I really like that would also be fun to speed run. And that seemed like one of those games where the motion and the movement in the game is so fun. That it would be super fun to optimize without feeling, like, ridiculous. The little stages all being laid out so nicely and relatively quick, except for... Mm, the prison, I want to say? There was one stage that was weirdly long. Two. Okay. Okay. Mad Garbo since age. Red coins are required. Did I miss one already? Yeah, it seems like one of those games that would just be fun to do, too. I'm trying to think of other examples. I know they're out there. Of games that, like, legitimately feel good and don't feel like the barrier is extremely high. The last... The last has some pretty crazy tech in it, though. I'd probably shut that shit down as soon as you start looking at it. What did I play recently? I played something recently. Okay, that's what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not getting Katana Zero. Prism was the short expansion was the longest. Maybe. It's been a while since I played it. I only have it on Switch, and my Switch is basically just a Mario Maker console at this point. Not that there aren't great games for the Switch, it's just Nintendo hasn't been making that much, and Tears of the Kingdom played better on PC. Everything plays better on PC because they don't do 60 frames per second. Yeah, Katana Zero was really great. Oh, red coins are required, and I just skipped it, didn't I? Hud is sitting next to me, and he's being really weird. Now, see, if you wanted to go really pro here... Oh, my God. No, make that face again. Give me my phone and make that face again. Put your face in the hole. Do it. Do it. He, like, crammed his face in the dumbest possible place. Nope, he doesn't want to put it back there. Well, fine. I won't get a cute picture of you then. Yeah, and I mean, I'm sure you could adjust to it. I played, uh... I played, uh, Breath of the Wild at, at 30 frames per second on there, but I replayed Breath of the Wild on PC at 120 hertz, and it was, um, just excellent. And then playing through Tears of the Kingdom back and forth, like, I was doing side-by-side -side testing, and man... It just, it benefits so much from running at 60 frames per second. It just feels so much smoother. I really wish Nintendo would just target 60. I get that that's not a, 
a compromise they can make on the Switch for something like Tears of the Kingdom. But it also sucks that the experience is so much worse for people playing the game uh, in the most legal way possible versus people who very legally dumped their copy and are playing it in an emulator instead. Like, it should not, it should not be a better experience in a shitty, shitty emulator. Yeah, he's being nuts. He's being just absolutely fucking bonkers. I got your ear. What are you going to do? Don't pull on it. Don't pull on it. Oh, my God. He's the only cat that does that. If you grab his tail, he also pulls on it. Like, I think he likes it. Stop pulling your own... He's weird. He's not even... He's not mad or nervous or anything. He's just excited now. I honestly think he might like tail pulling a little bit, but I also feel like... You know, he'll get hurt if I pull his tail for his pleasure. No, I'm not doing it, bud. A little higher, a little higher, and they can see your anus. Anus cat. Oh, stop licking me. You're gonna make me itchy. No, stop licking me! That being cute. Here, can I get one of these on him? Pud. If you're gonna be all cute, at least do it on camera. There. See, that's why we have two cameras. Don't go back over there. Resume licking my arm. Do what I say. Oh my god, he did it. He did it when I said it. Had a nice asthma attack. I've been there. I haven't had, like, a full-on asthma attack in a while. I just get kind of wheezy, and then I hit it. But I imagine if I didn't have it with me, then I might. Yeah, that sucks. Oop. Welcome back. So, w did I play your new troll level yet? Put it in there. No, oh, it's 1038. Never mind. Bring it. Give me it tomorrow. Or did I play it already? Uh, okay. Timer. I kind of wish that I had timed that out better. This section feels familiar, but I can't exactly place it. But it's been a long time since I played Katana Zero. I did? Aw. But be cuter. If he, he literally, he just went back to his little corner to just roll around gently and be crazy. I'm sure he'll start being cute again right away. You never finished it because you saw a Well, perfect. Yeah, bring it to me tomorrow. And then I'll find some new place to soft lock. How long have I been here? Eight minutes? We'll give it one more shot and I'll move it. Yeah, I mean, I definitely... I feel like some of the structure is here and visible. Some of the waiting with the fire is really, really annoying. Like, a ton of the beginning of the level is... I grab that... The whole, like, first goddamn minute is I grab that red coin and then I wait for fire for 50 goddamn seconds. 60 goddamn seconds. Uh, key door is right here. Yeah, okay. Done making edits. Carl played it. Ah, oh, I gotcha. I mean, I can still get soft locked and yelled. You can't stop me. Nobody can stop me from making the choices that I make. <laughs> ah! Have the second cam be a cat cam? Well, if I had infinite money, I could get one of those, like, cameras with, like, tracking on it? That's weird. What's that supposed to be? Oh, and then tell it to track the cat? Oh, uh, but those are expensive. How did you survive that? What did I just survive? Did I go back and look? What stupid thing did I just accidentally survive? Made it. But I'm really itchy now. And the other thing is, he does not reliably sit next to me, so that makes it tough, too. I think those are the noisy neighbors, and the last segment was the dream. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember the little dream segments. And, uh, was there a little girl? Was he friends with a little girl, or am I... Mixing things up in my head. 
You were balls deep in the mole. Was balls deep in the mole? What did I just not even see? Okay, I killed these guys. We kind of touched there. Yeah, we got he got in there a little bit. He got a little kissy. Is that it? Just a little mole that I got real close with? Yeah, that was it. Then we were done. A little bit of mole PDA. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I think he was balls deep in me. Yeah, I mean, he got in there. He got in there. All right. Uh, oh, I should close the queue, huh? Close. Uh, next uh, is Nick and then Lappy. Get the uh, get all the regulars there and a little little streak and then and then uh, some more multiplayer verse if we have a minute. And then I have to drag some garbage cans out. And then be horrified that they're full of maggots. I, I keep bleaching them out. I keep bleaching them out and cleaning them out real good. And I have no idea how we keep getting more flies in there. Maybe somebody's throwing something gross in my garbage to piss me off. I guess I could put them where the camera could see them. World 6 boss time. So there's something in the bottom covered in crap uh, before I poured bleach in this time. I don't know what the hell it was. Do, 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 do. Maybe one of those horrible, horrible neighbors who puts raw dog poop in people's garbage cans. Maybe that's what I'm seeing. Swamp noises. I'm going to put some dumb gifs that I put together on there so there will be different dumb gifs all the time when you make noises. Weird. Oh, did that to myself. I'm very itchy. This little orange cat is very cute. He's a good boy. He does his job. I'm ex exceptionally allergic to him. Especially esports, especially his saliva. And he licked me a bunch. Now I'm really itchy. Thank you for coming to my TED talk about how itchy my arm is. Am I riding these further? I think I am. Was I supposed to bring two? This is weird. Kind of neat, though. I can make it on just one, though. It's going to feel... Pretty much like just a really crappy auto-scroller in a box. Oops. False. Hearing someone say "jiff" like "jiff" hurt. I don't care. It's how the maker intended it to be pronounced. They're wrong. That's pretty interesting. M R E F I T. Uh. But if enough people say your username like that, would you be like, "Well, it's mine, so I should get to say it how I want"? Or would you be like, "Yep, will the masses is correct"? Or if everybody decided Mr. Oopity was pronounced like guy who eats all buttholes and they were like no that's the pronunciation we're full on like elon musking this this is this is how we say it guy who eats all the buttholes i've seen you eat buttholes and you get home for like family dinner and people are like oh the guy who eats all the buttholes wow we're proud of you for eating buttholes and that was your whole life i feel like that'll make you feel really bad you should probably say it how they said it that's the moral of the story you invent something you get to name it You don't argue with me about phonics. Ugh, how about G is in gel? Or giraffe? What now? Where's your god now? Or is it giraffe? Huh? Is it giraffe in your twisted, disgusting little world? And gel. Hair gel. Put your hair gel in. Gif. Oh, come on. M. Rufity is the common one. 
Yeah, I mean, I was trying to say it as stupid as possible. You can only get one ball? I set it up like that. Hey, that's mean. Didn't Hitler only have one ball? What did he mean by that? What did he mean by just one ball? I, for one, do not appreciate your anti-Semitic ball jokes. I'm pretty sure Hitler only had one ball. I suddenly want peanut butter. Because we were talking about Hitler's nuts? Or other other nuts? Something about choosy developers? Choose Jeff. Jeff. Giraffics interchange format. This comes up very common in uh, one of the like local tech people discord that I'm in. To the point where we all have uh, roles that identify which side of the fence we're on. A buddy of mine also gets really angry. Uh, if I use the word rubes, R-O-O-V-E-S. But doesn't have a problem at all with wolves or all the other words that leaves. I'm not sure I want to answer that question. Hitler's peanut butter balls. I'm sure somebody did it somewhere. And that is what I missed the first time as I'm supposed to be spinning. If I'm not spinning, it's dumb. I hope there is a Z label. I definitely feel like it burned me, but Z seems to be the way. I don't know if that's typical and everybody always Zs. does end up mostly feeling more or less like an auto-scroller. So I would have wished for a little more dynamic in the second set here. Finding some other interesting thing to do with the balls. I imagine they interact with other objects. Maybe springs? Probably not bumpers. We did a little bit of that in the first one, but maybe doing a vertical level where it bounces back and forth. Uh, Could have been interesting. Okay, the boo ring. The boo ring feels unnecessary. Graphics with J's. Giraffics? An Uno will be a boring way with no way to stack plus twos. No, but you can trust them to name things. It's not about rules and making up your own rules. It's about, like, they invented the format with a brand new word. Uh, and then the word was a, a peanut butter joke internally, and they even, like, that they let that joke out. So it was really weird that so many people look at it that way. Like, just ignored it. Uh. Gerard. Yeah, giraffe. There are a bunch of... I could look up a bunch of examples. We have We have debated this to death. To the point where a large number of people in the group converted, except for one stubborn neurodivergent asshole. Not me. Different. Different stubborn asshole. Um. I was a stubborn guy on the uh, GIF side. But, uh, yeah, there are a lot of examples of G's being used that way. It's not it's not as weird as people think. But whatever whatever your job tells you, you know? When you pray to... Pray to Jesus. At night. Uh, okay. I was kind of waiting for the ball, but fine. It was a little aggressive. Yeah, I mean it's got it's got strong auto scroller flavor, and uh, we very quickly get into these these positions where it's less of a it, it feels like less of a skill game and more of like uh, that game where you draw sticks where you draw one or two sticks on a grid, and then it's basically just whoever moves first loses or whatever. Like you're in a position where it's like, well, shit, I'm not going to be able to do the big jump if I do the little jump, and it just it it, st it stops feeling like. I have much agency when we just have the ball and some saws, or just the ball and some, uh, boo rings. Ow. Gonna die over here. Ooh. 
they be making up their own rules of pronunciation? Well, no, I, I think we covered some good examples like Giraffe and uh, Gerard and Jism with the G. Lots of words that work that way. Uh, it's not an unusual pronunciation. It's not like they invented a different way to use the word G. They just use G in a way that it isn't often used, but it's not uncommon. It, it's not unheard of by any means. Uh, and considering the word didn't exist before they did that, that would be like if somebody told you their name was Gerard, and you were like, well, don't you mean Gerard? And they're like, no, the G is pronounced like a J. You were like, well, G's don't do that. It's Gerard. They're like, well, you're not going to get this job. Uh, so see ya. I want to do that. I want to do that at a job interview now. It's like, is it Jif or Jif? And they'll be like, oh, well, it's Gif. And I'll be like, oh, okay, well, this isn't going to work out. Bad culture fit, huh? I'm out of here. I why the giraffe pronounced not like tree, so that's why that wouldn't words okay lol. I why the giraffe pronounced not like tree, so that's why that wouldn't words okay lol. One more time. I why the giraffe not like I'm sorry, I why the giraffe pronounced not like tree, so that's why that wouldn't words. Okay, lol. Yeah, Brian Brian left. Brian left the building. Bless you. Bless Starlight. Oh, somebody call Jod. Ask him to ask him to cram the soul back in the body. See if there's brain stuck to the soul. Maybe once he relearns English, he'll, he'll make good levels. Once all the pieces are back in Humpty Dumpty. Seriously, Starlight, do you smell toast? That, that was that was a sentence. You're not drunk on a Monday, are you? That's sad. Don't get drunk on a Monday and watch Twitch. That's sad. Do some homework. Oh, off. Oh, good. There's the end of it. Oh, my God. We were here so many times. Might be better to not see at the beginning for the boo rings. Yeah, I mean, then we get the twist. But I feel like we need the, 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 the Z for the other things. Gerard? Gerard with an emphasis on G. The only way I can win the GIF argument. Well, wasn't wasn't Gerard like literally the proof? Gerard and GIF? That's the same thing. Gerard, GIF, giraffe? Those are G words that all have a have a G. 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 G's are allowed to to GIF that way. G's get jiggy with it. There's more puns here, but it's af it's almost 11. I'm definitely not supposed to be funny anymore. You never drank ever? And you don't have to, but it's also delicious. Unless you're in Wisconsin. If you're in Wisconsin, really just just don't. They're dumb here. We don't even we don't even give you a felony for drunk driving the first couple times. It's crazy. You can just go get drunk. And then they'll be like, oh, you shouldn't do that. You know, you're gonna get a big old ticket. You can drive to work tomorrow though. I think they should cut your fucking hands off. First time you lose your dominant hand, second time you lose the other hand, mm, probably non-dominant, then dominant, and then I don't know, all your limbs, and then they just kill you. People are going to stop doing it if they start cutting off hands. And the number of times people have said dumb shit, too. Like, come on, it's Wisconsin. 
Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm I'm gonna get a taxi. I'm gonna wait in my car for a couple hours. Game Boy, I'm gonna do that. Walk home. Cause I have feet. There we go. Can't stay awake anymore. Have a good night, bud. We'll see you later. Planes are overrated. I've been on a couple of planes, that's it. I didn't go on a plane until my 30s. Uh, you should definitely smoke and do drugs and have sex. Those are good. Caffeine is a good drug. Marijuana, that's popular too. Uh, yeah, good stuff, mostly. Like, I like the concept, but some of the execution wasn't great. It definitely started to get a little bit of auto-scroll rot going. And I feel like the second segment could have just been a little bit shorter. Maybe just yank off the boo rings. Or give the player a little bit more agency there. Can you bounce on the bouncer with a, um... With a, uh... Bone boat? What is it called? Fuck. Fuck! Dry bone shell. Uh, if you can bounce on it with the dry bone shell without killing it, you could use that to give the player a little bit of agency and give them something to do while they're waiting for it to move along by, like, killing off the boo rings. Maybe even some, like, light speedrun strat kind of stuff, too. Um, to let the player advance through that way could be kind of fun. I don't know if it kills the ball. It might kill the ball. But if it doesn't, that could be a lot of fun. Or a foot, a boot, a sock. Birds, BRs. Oh, we don't have to put this in here. It's, uh, OBS. And you fixed it. Okay. Do, 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 Let me download it. Oh, nope. Not operating manual for a friggin' CRT. Yeah, I found somebody selling a nice, uh... Oh, calm down. Nice PVM on eBay for 120 uh, so I bought an excessively expensive CRT. But it'll be really nice. Feels bad to spend $120 on the CRT. But it's gonna be nice. Tonight, thanks for popping in, Oofity. Oh, since you could walk on the spike, sure, I gotcha. Yeah, you can't. You can bounce on saw blades, too. Uh, boot. Boot suffers from the same thing. Probably something you could do to give the player a little more agency. Boot. Oh, lava. Don't do spikes, do lava. And then have everything else suspended in lava. Then there's nothing for you to work, walk on. You could go, oh, then you need something for the ball to bounce on each time. Yeah. Alright, reminded me I start college in 10 days. Well, ask all your professors if they say GIF or GIF. GIF is wrong. Bring your college professors a GIF. A GIF on the first day. A JAPL. Uh, okay, let's load the level. I'm getting I'm getting distracted here. Giraffes. Do, 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 do. Now then, use the new 34, which should be fixed now. The ritual begins. With her hatred, she will strike me down and pledge herself as a Sith. Right, that's why girls don't want to touch her wiener. Come on. Come on, there it is. But yeah, weed's popular. Uh, weed and uh, drinking are also really popular um, social lubricants that can help you socialize more normally and help other people socialize with you. So that's another option, too, if you're still too lazy to go hiking or any of the infinite number of other good ideas I've given you. Uh being a human. Do, 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 do. Okay, fire flower. Okay. Uh, block. Two blocks may snake their mere trifles with my power. <laughs> hey, hopefully. Hopefully so well, why did I do this? Hopefully someday that will be everyone's power. Oh. And then you can be an Easter egg in whatever. Lunar Mario Maker magic. Lappy Mappy. <laughs> Make him call it that. There we go. 
Do, 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 do. No amount of drugs will save me. I don't know. Weed makes people pretty chill and less weird. I don't do. I, I'm. I don't smoke weed. I'm, but I think it's a good idea generally. I think it's. Oh. Oh wait. I could have just been less dumb. That's fine though. Let's just do the door so we can go through it. The hard G is it seems like a word of Germanic origin. Like gift. Well, I don't need your gifs. Because I have gifs. Oh, I'm dumb. There we go. Um. Yeah, I think people just kind of pick what they're most familiar with. And I think the only reason it boils down to there being an alternative is because, you know, the guy, the guy did it. He did the thing. He invented it. Oops, that was my fault. Hello. Oh. The team invented it. That was a new one. In chat, no Star Wars movies. Uh, I haven't watched. I watched the first three a long time ago, uh, but I don't have a lot of care for them. I recognize that they made a big difference. Oh, I should grab the P switch. I recognize that they made a really, really, really big difference. Uh, that they matter a lot. In that they did something nobody else had ever done. Let's see if we can do anything else cool with this. Oh, I can trigger a P switch with that. Okay. That's new. Um. I don't know what else I need to do with it. Is that repeatable? Uh, it would have been if I was less stupid. Yeah, the first movies were important. They did something that other movies hadn't really done yet. Uh, after that, they've just kind of been roosting on their laurels, and I don't think they had an interesting enough premise for me to really care, since I wasn't, like, raised in that time. I wasn't raised around it. I didn't care. I'm not sure why so many people still do. Didn't need to do that. Calm down. Well, I can use this to do both. I mean, it seems like my ultimate goal here is to go in the pipe. I don't see how I'm getting anything under the pipe, as I don't see any way to do that. We have one door, and that resets the room wherever I am or am stuck. We can stick more stuff in here. But this does not benefit me. Track block. Where are the track blocks? Uh, yeah, the P switch won't spawn when I throw the. If that thing is there, but I don't understand how that helps me. Uh. I don't see any opportunity to flip a switch anywhere, and I don't think the pile was flipping a switch. Can I just not go through that pipe? No, I can't go through that pipe. He just kind of claps his hands right there. Like he's counting. Badly. Yeah, I need to get in the right pipe? I don't know how the hell I'm doing that. I can't drop those and I can't drop the cloud. Left pipe, okay. I was gonna say, there's no way I'm going in the right pipe. 
Oh, you fuck up so badly at work, you confuse coworkers and customers and yourself. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like the service industry. That's what we do. I mean, I could probably bounce something on a spring if I get it put in the right place. Yep. Uh, but I'd have to bounce a whole bunch of shit on a spring to get it up that high. Yeah, I don't see any other interactables I can really bring over there. Got a spring in a box. And P switch and pow. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of stuff for an on off block, but I don't see an on off block available. Don't see any opportunity to do anything with that. Flying near the bottom. So am I supposed to try and get a P out of there? I don't see how I could get that P out of there. That track block's going to occupy the left spot or the right spot. Oh, you mean for me to put something in there. Okay. Uh, he switch Oh, good. Let's just grab that and pretend that we did this right using magic. Um... I can't really put anything down here except me. Maybe me is the answer? Here we go. I might be able to throw the crate here. Oops. Oh, actually, I might be able to get in there. No, that's a one way, isn't it? Okay, I can't get in there. Here we go. Do your job. Okay. Uh, let's get this out of there. We can move that. Here we go. Oops. Yeah, it definitely feels like a precarious place to be doing things. Oh, good. I'm smart. But I, I need to touch it to move it. Getting pretty tired. Getting pretty tired of your pot. Oh, eleven oh nine already. Well, we'll give it, we'll give it a few minutes. Then I have to fucking go to bed. Then you have to tell me to do it again tomorrow. Maybe if I do that, it gets chucked in the way? Oh, okay, it does. Okay. That's hard to figure out, but we figured it out. But now the P-switch is stuck. Uh, I have to work in uh, about eight hours, and I try to get about six hours of sleep a night. But I take a while to wind down. Do, 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 do. Uh, I might be able to get that P-switch to go through there now, though. So maybe that's what we're doing. So let's bring some pieces up. Aww. I was going to throw both of them up there. So I'm just going to cheat. Because they definitely can do that. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted both pieces up here. Uh, maybe it should keep moving when we hit the other P-switch. And then we'll get more P-switches 
But not more POWs. No, that POW's gonna get poofed or it's gonna get pushed off. Uh, and then we can maybe stick something on it, and then I guess we can go from there. Okay, it goes right in there. So that is probably what we're doing. So let's uh, start with this. Uh, and then this. And this. Seems like we're gonna need both. Yeah, we're gonna need both. Okay. Okay, okay. I was worried that was gonna get off cycle and not work, but it seems like it's covered. And that is the end of it. Good. I... <laughs> Laffy, I was legitimately worried that there was a second half that we were about to run into and have to go back and forth. So I'm very happy that ended where it did. I do think that we would have figured that out on our own eventually. My hair is doing barb things. It either needs to get cut or I need to give up on it. But look at look at that. That's almost a bald spot. Um. Yeah, I like that. We definitely would have, because we, we were working backwards from how are we doing that. So the only thing that we are missing there was remembering that we can spawn block the uh, the tick blocks or whatever. Track blocks. Do they really call them track blocks? Learn script. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the sorcery to be a GUI. Now that I know that people are working on it, you know that makes me want to wait, right? But I'm glad I can contribute by remembering things. Are they actually called track blocks? Because they're, they're not on a fucking track. We don't have tracks. Where is it? Where's the track block? Oh, I went through a pipe. No, I'm in the sub world. Oh my god, I'll just find it on the thing. Are they on? Nope. I'm angry now. I'm angry and I want to look at it. They're red normally. Your mom's red normally. Red in the pants. Last panel. Hi. Oh, they don't even show us. The, why did I think they show us the name when we click on it? Memory is weird. Track block. We don't even have tracks. They're line blocks. They're line blocks. Path blocks. Path blocks is what they should have called them. Because they follow a path. Hi, crackers. Did you guys hear him scream? Can you scream into the microphone for the people? With your crazy noises? Here, right here. Crackers, tell me what your favorite food is. Is it being grumpy? Is your favorite food being grumpy? On off blocks or dotted line blocks? What? Wow. On off switch? On off block. This isn't a dotted line switch. It's an on off switch. Ugh. Okay, that's close. Blink blocks. Dash block. How many of these are stupid? Okay, I'm done looking at things to determine if they're stupid. That is not what we're doing. I'm going to bed. Cracker, seriously? Look at what his ass is doing. Look at what he's doing. He's just like, no, my you're you're my ass hat now. This is a big cat. This is my head. This is the cat behind my head. How can food and an animate object be grumpy? I don't know. He's not very good at English. He's grumpy. He's 20 pounds of grumpy ass. Main Coon. Are you good? No? <laughs> He's a very cute cat. You guys have a good night. Uh, feedback on the puzzle. I was doing that. Yeah, that overall I really liked it. I was afraid it was going to get longer. So I was like sitting here like, oh, what? The other shoe's going to drop. The other shoe's going to drop and it's going to hurt. Uh, I was happy that it didn't. I, I was happy with where it was at. And as it was saying, I think that... Uh, I think that we definitely would have gotten there eventually. But the only hint hole, I feel like, is um, maybe try to make sure you show the player how the spawn blocking works. 
but that is a tall order to us to get that right. Um, but you might be able to do something with that in your little training area in the beginning. If you don't already, maybe you do. And I forgot already, but just making sure you get that rattling around in the, uh, in the guy, in the player's brain, you should be able to automate that though. Oh, you should be able to automate that really easily with, uh, I know I could just pull it up in the editor quick, but, um, if you have a pipe, right? Like this, that is, uh, let me switch back to the other input. So it'll at least be clean. Um, you have a pipe that is spawn blocked by the track block and then a pow in the pipe. So then when you touch this, this will move and then the pow will spawn and then it will spawn block it. But I was worried I overcomplicated it. No, I don't think you overcomplicated it. I think that one worked, duh. I think that one worked really well. Yeah. Uh, okay. We'll be back tomorrow doing more viewer levels. You guys have a good night. I have to go drag garbage out to the curb. I'm out of here.